Gigongyo introduces Treacherous Tom to challenge Putty's Skylar, who is racing for four consecutive wins. Three Conquest Sealster has made front ahead of Moonwalker, and he's hoping to bottom out the rest as the stretch looms ahead. It's Conquest Sealster, but here comes the late speed of on time delivery getting up to deliver once again for Robert Shepard. On time delivery by three over Shadow Dave, holding on for show was Conquest Sealster in 155 and two. Out of Troxel Hanover, owned by Windermere Farms of Springvale, PEI, bred by River Valley Management, New Brunswick and Windermere Farm, trained by Isabel Darvo, and driven by Robert Shepard. It's his fourth consecutive Rideau Carlton victory in his fifth start this year. And race one is now official. Congratulations to On Time Delivery. The field, Monty's gone marble, shuffled to last, smiling Billy the Kid. And now a new leader as Viper has put away Shotgun Jerry wide. Here's a move from Monty's gone marble and smiling Billy the Kid. It's a battle to the wire, smiling Billy the Kid. Ahead of Viper and Monty's gone marble. 155 and three, hold all tickets, it's a close one. Penoville, Quebec, driven to victory by Pascal Berube. It's the third win this year in five seasonal starts for Smiling Billy the Kid, who was recently claimed here. And returns to the winner's circle. Back-to-back -back winner after his April 28th victory. Congratulations. From third, moving out to try to get around Party Vibes, who still sits the pocket as they both come after Flash Cube, who leads by two at the top of the lane. Flash Cube getting tested late on his outside. Here's a surge from Party Vibes. It's getting very close as the wire comes up and Flash Cube gets there by a neck just ahead of Party Vibes, holding on for show what's in the ESCII, 155 and four. Two of Blainville, Quebec, bred by David Keyes and Julie Keyes of Millgrove, Ontario, trained and driven by Guy Gagnon. That's the fourth start this year and the first paramutual win of the season for Flash Cube, a 10 time winner last season. Congratulations to Flash Cube. Guy Gagnon asking him for more, coming down the stretch, and he obliges. That's Jaden's Magic Steel coming on for a second. Silverado wide of him is Rock and Zeus, but they're not catching. Jaden's Magic Steel, who finishes ahead of Silverado in the fast closing, Rock and Zeus in 155 and 4. Jaden's Magic Steel. He's a six-year-old Bay Gelding by Steelhead Hanover out of Meridian Magic. Owned by Jamie Copley and Darren Tingley of Ontario with Dwayne Tingley of Nova Scotia. Bred by Barry Martin and Ruben Martin of Nova Scotia. Trained by Mandy Archer and driven by Guy Gagnon. That's Jaden's Magic Steel's second win in six starts this season. And race four is now official. Pressed by I'm a stand-up guy who's to his outside and coming on late, War We Exalt and Guy Gagnon also facing a move up the cones now from Raising Rusty and I'm a stand-up guy is trotting right on past. I'm a stand-up guy. Finishes ahead of Raising Rusty and possibly were we exalt for show in 156 and one. Bred by Winback Farm of Maryland, trained by Mandy Archer, driven to victory by Robert Shepard. 
That's his first paramutual win this season at Rideau Carlton. He did win a qualifier here, April 3rd. Battle of York and Stefan Pouliot are leading the way down the stretch. They've got a open length advantage coming at them late. Illicit Affair is gaining ground and here comes a fast flying in play. Hanover widest of all. It's between these three in play. Hanover by half a length over Illicit Affair and Battle of York. All-Star Ballerina fourth. 158 and 2. Spread by Hanover Shoe Farms of Hanover, Pennsylvania. Trained by Stefan Pouliot and driven to his first lifetime win by Robert Shepard. A well timed victory and a maiden win in a 158 and 2 lifetime mark. For in play Hanover, congratulations to all the connections. Orders. They're coming after open length leader, make it come true. He's got a nice cushion to make it down the stretch. He's all alone on the lead with the closers coming after him now. Make it come true, trying to make it back to the winner's circle. And he's going to do that for Guy Gagnon. Second was Favaro Sealster, ahead of a fast closing Woodmere Gaelic in 155 and four and driven to his second seasonal victory in his 12th seasonal start. Make it come true as a seven-year-old Bay Gelding by Captain Treacherous out of Dream of Treasure. And he was claimed tonight by Jimmy Polifroni, Troy Learn, and Tess Waxman, and will now be trained by Isaac Waxman. Congratulations to make it come true and connections. And that could set up for Skyler, who's watching them from second over fourth. Get your license, Liam, still along the cones. They turn for home, and treacherous Tom leads by a good four lengths, coming late out of the sky once again. It is Skyler up for place behind treacherous Tom. And for show, get your license, Liam. 153 and 3, fastest of the night. Gelding by Captain Treacherous out of Kate is Well Said. Previously owned by James Berry, Richmond Hill, Ontario. Bred by Fashion Farms LLC of New Hope, Pennsylvania. Trained and driven by Guy Gagnon. And he's been claimed. And going to new owners, Jimmy Polifroni and Tess Waxman. And he'll be trained by Isaac Waxman. That's back-to-back -back wins at two different tracks, Woodbine Mohawk Park on April 22nd, and tonight at Rideau Carlton for Treacherous Tom. His second win of the season from 12 starts. Congratulations. In 127-3. E.L. Wild Sport on the inside, up the cones, State News down the middle of the track. J.K. LMNO fighting off, run for the money, and she does it. J.K. LMNO and Jimmy Gagnon just ahead of run for the money. For show, it appears to be State News, 157-2. and two. Carlton, winner's enclosure is... The unofficial winner of race nine, that's the five, J.K. LMNO. She's a 10-year-old brown mare by J.K. Royal Flush out of Daylon Era, owned and trained by Gerard Viancourt of Kempville, Ontario, bred by Brian Brooke of Leduc, Alberta, and driven to her first seasonal win by Jimmy Gagnon. Congratulations to J.K. LMNO and Connections. Orders at the back of the field are Delco Dynamo, followed by Officer Jones, 126 and 3. Rockin' My Dream and Mike Healy are making their way down the stretch with company coming up the inside now. Hurricane King Carlo coming on. It's between those two, and Rockin' My Dream is going to prevail by a neck over Hurricane King Carlo. 
And it looked like Big Pete style third in 156 and three. Dream. He's a seven year old Bay Gelding by a rock and roll dance out of Born to Dream, owned by Kristen Trudeau of Gatineau, Quebec, bred by Lomangio Standard Breads of Tinton Falls, New Jersey, trained by Stefan Meyer, and driven to the win by Mike Healy. Congratulations all round. The first. The highlight of the Sunday night card at Rideau Carlton Raceway came in race five. It was a breakthrough Rideau Carlton victory for I'm a Stand Up Guy, trained by Mandy Archer, and driven to victory in 156 and 1 by Robert Shepard. He had three wins on the night. I'm a Stand Up Guy got his first seasonal win ahead of the six Raising Rusty for an impressive exactor payout of $197 for the $2 ticket. I'm a stand-up guy is owned by Jamie Copley with Kimberly Eaton, Darren Tingley, and Dwayne Tingley. Join us again on Thursday, May 9th at 4 p.m. for another card of live racing from the nation's capital.